Morning everyone, it is Monday of our auction week. Uh, we've been busy little bees. Yeah. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to, you, you, exactly, round holiday. A um, couple of things we have uh, that's coming big in this and I might as well kick off the week is we bought number one of this year's Dreamcast. Okay. Uh, I know, again, every year there's the drama of what is the Dreamcast going to bring and how is, uh, how is it going to be handled and uh, a lot of people were... Uh, uh, disappointed in their credit card didn't do it and this and that and there's always going to be people disappointed that they won or didn't win so unfortunately them dems is the cards um but we do have bottle number one uh, it has garnered great interest in previous years i expect this one to be no different uh i wonder is it coming to the end of the line i mean again just seeing people's interest and i think people's interest in in the dream cask project is waning a little bit uh, I don't know whether Middleton want to hear that or Redbreast want to hear that, but my thoughts is I think it's it's waning a wee bit. So uh, it'll be nice to have bottle number one of that last yeah. one. So that's always interesting. And it's interesting. a nice one too. It is a nice one. It's nice. different. It's different, but yeah. I love it. I think yeah, it's just yeah, fab. Yeah. Um, you is the port. You tasted it. You were lucky enough to be at the the masterclass in, in whiskey, whiskey life, life. Uh, yes which we all survived whiskey life yes yeah uh, barely some of us <laughs> uh, we were drinking quite a lot and i think it took me about two weeks for my liver to recover um and then we also have bought number one from uh dunville's so it's of the irish whiskey of the year from 2022 last year's irish yep. whiskey awards we've actually got bottle number one and that's actually going for the kevin bell repatriation fund um it's a big one lads I mean if you look into the good work that, that, that oh, they, they've done they have done some amazing work helping people out when not saying when the country has abandoned them but helping getting a, a, a lost loved one home or, or you something see, it's like so that expensive it's expensive to yeah. repatriate yeah, 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 yeah a person yeah, so yeah. And, and it's great that they have been helping out yeah so there's two big bottles we've a few tweaks coming to our website as well that we've been working on as well we'll talk more about them and there will be a bit of social media uh, telling the story of what we've done we think it's going to improve the whole yeah. um uh, auction experience for people um as well so that's a couple of things we've coming up online but today we thought we'd kick off there's we've mm -hmm. been building and building and building with these uh, scotch bottles so mccallan this month is a big one for us this month and uh, there is some doozies in it this month i mean absolute gems uh last month we had one of the mccallan uh, James Bond uh, 60th anniversary releases so we've got decade two decade three and decade five in this month's auction they've been getting um great following in the UK and yeah. um, McCallum prices have softened a little in the US in the UK UK markets and UK auctions I think one of the reasons for that is there's been so many different releases and now everybody's on board and it's, I, I think it's similar to what we're experiencing here with Middleton is that you know the prices rise because everybody's going oh I've got to have them I've got to have them and I think the same has happened with McAllen the difference is that McAllen's got a far bigger world footprint and the market is far bigger for them so I think that them prices they might have softened a wee bit but I think they're going uh, to stay will, strong yeah. and they're going to come back they and will they're, come back. they're going to go up and again um, some of the ones that you can see it follows the same pattern as the, the dream cask that you know there's a spike after the bottle is released and then it falls back a little bit but the, the James Bond one in the last so there is six bottle release um, so of, of all the different uh, decades from the James Bond uh, film what's the franchise franchise yeah I couldn't think of the word Katie thanks but um, uh, and they, they done well uh, the Peter Blake so this is the the edition of the Peter Blake with the print but this we've also got the notelet books in this one as well they've done great and I think they've been holding great and good and strong uh, on the prices uh, in truth we've actually nearly been getting better prices for our scotch than some of the UK platforms yeah. now again we've had a lot less of them it's a bit like you know uh, sometimes You'll see in the UK a Middleton bottle will go above where sort of we've been selling it lately, and that's literally they'll you know the one one will spike the interest. As you said, there. there'll be less availability. <coughs> yeah, and that's what spikes the price. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's it. Um, Oscuro. So we had one of the previous Oscuros, the one that opened up in the V, and this was the sort of new version of it here. This was just a, a reduced size packaging. Sorry, just and Sinead, look at that, the box for the Peter Blake as well. It's a lovely box. 
you know, Blake. Uh, you getting tongue tied? Tongue tied. Uh, a squirrel. This is the new presentation. Now this is snazzy. This is like swish. Good afternoon, Mr. Bond. And he's sitting there <laughs> stroking the cat. Uh, and he swings round in his chair. And, I've come to kill you. Does it work the same if you're stroking the head of a white schnauzer sitting on your recliner chair? Yeah, that's I, 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 I can be a Bond villain. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he was at the other day with the dog, by the way. Yeah. She Not was. sitting stroking my... You were you were petting our lovely white snows. Oh yeah, no, I'm not. I'm the other, other word James for a Bond cat. Moment. You're not like a James Bond. You're no, sitting there no, stroking no, your. No, you're a cat. We have a, a snow. cat. We have a dog. Right. A okay. So you're not sitting. Stro- no, okay, you're not. Fair enough, right. Okay. Um, I think they're lovely. I still yeah, think they're yeah. a lovely presentation. They're not as impressive as the, the split, v, no, the V, I the v. Uh, but I think they're still a lovely presentation. Um, that's sort of the new style that McAllen have gone for a lot of those ones. Um, well, I suppose it's got a smaller package. It's, 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 if it's on your display shelf, it's not taking up it, so much room. Again, what, absolutely right, Katie, on yeah. both counts. Yeah. Uh, environmental concerns, I mean, again, we know that an awful lot of the packaging companies are looking at the, you know, their, their, their secondary packaging yeah. per se and sort of saying, look, is this a worthy spend? The cost of doing some of these things, I mean, I know from speaking to, to Irish producers here, I mean, the cost of some of the, the, the fancy ornate packaging is crazy. And ultimately, that's passed on to the consumer. And you really wonder, does the consumer really give a shit? You know, some people, I mean, for collectability purposes, it's lovely in the presentation bottle. But what's the collectible part of a bottle? Is it the bottle, the uniqueness, the rarity of the bottle, or is it the packaging? I mean, you take the packaging away from a Dreamcast, Still does all right. I mean, when they just released it in the in the um, the wee, the wee, bag. The wee sack. Yeah. I mean, people sort of griped and moaned, but it's still holding its own on the secondary market. Yeah, and again, the people who are opening the bottles and drinking them, they don't give a crap what it, what it looks like. You've got two types of people: people who collect. More than two types. No. I'm, I'm, uh, in this, according to the LGBT shoot, sorry, all right, okay. in this scenario right. you've got two types of people right. one that is the proper old collector yeah, yeah. and then you've got the other one which is two who's like super flashy and doesn't really care about the money but something like that looks impressive in their house not as impressive as the V one not as impressive as the V one so again, but that still is impressive well, still, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean no but I, I just wonder if you know for, as, as going forward with Going forward in politics now, just <laughs> uh, you know, on the sun. Um, going forward, I mean, with the packaging, with again, with environmental concerns, with Middleton doing what they did with the Middleton, with you know, and people griped about that. But again, you know, ultimately, you're collecting. It's a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. So what's around it is sort of irrelevant, and this is one of the things. I mean, I love having. See, that's you trying to apply logic to stuff, and I'm sick telling you. In this world, there is no such thing as logic. I know. I know. It's black or white, kid. No, there's no, no, there's, no, there's loads of grey in there. Bro. Um, look again. Talking about packaging. Yeah. Uh, this is the Macallan Jubilee. Uh, so this was done. She has now gone on to the great throne in the sky. Um, or she could be gone down below. Oh, Who knows? Know. It depends on what your politics are as to where she's gone. Um, but uh, the Queen has gone. Lizzie the second has uh, passed away. So there has been renewed interest in these bottles because again they were limited edition at the time when she was alive and, yeah. and doing well. Uh, so this is the the jubilee, the diamond jubilee. Sixty years of since she ascended to the throne. Uh, she's now ascended to. A big a, throne in the sky. A bigger throne. Um, and that's the small one there. So there's only 70 of them in the world. There's 70 glorious years, but there's only 70. And these were we pointers collectability. Um, I actually think it says on it. Yeah, so that's number two of 70. So they were done by Macallan as well. Contains a rare Macallan single malt whiskey. 10 centiliters. Like it's back all. Yeah. You wouldn't get drunk on it. No. But the collectability of it is something else. Uh, this is the, the the Diamond Jubilee, as I said, 60 years, celebrating 60 years. They were released in 2012. They were fairly big money in 2012. I mean, again, compared to what they're selling for now, it wasn't. But I mean, they were a premium product back then as well. So uh, again, it's, it's got it's got some some actual stuff pulled from a cask from that year. Doesn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. So from from uh, 60 years ago in 1952, when she was. Uh, going to be made queen 
um, the the cask selection is from that as well from from that from the month uh, from February and I think from June as well from the Jubilee is traditionally celebrated as well. Uh, Sixty year old Macallan, I mean, if it was in another bottle, they're still holding their own. They're getting a the top dollar. Yeah. But because it's a a, a, a celebration one, unlimited. There's edition. only two thousand and twelve bottles to coincide with. Uh, the year that it was released, 2012. So that is a, a very collectible bottle. They've been doing massive, mm -hmm. massive money in the UK, uh, as I say, compared to what they originally would cost. But even when they were originally released, they were a premium product. Um, go to that end, Sinead, sorry, Pat. Uh, McAllen Folio, this is Folio 7. Again, you know, sets. The problem with sets are, it depends if you're late to the story, if you're late to the journey, you're you're trying to backfill a collection so a lot of people have come and bought folio seven and maybe we're lucky enough to get folio six they're done by ballots as well so yeah. again the ballots is is not a, is a tried and tested uh, platform um when it's done right um but uh the, the they've started going up as well and they've got it i mean folio one now goes for mental money compared to what it came out for but again they're a great great collection i mean i i often think that our own Middleton does follow McAllen in some ways, but I mean the variants. Even there, looking at that one shelf, the different products. Whereas, in truth, there's very little Middleton is Middleton is Middleton. Yeah. Whereas the Red Breast and Jemson and Powers is all coming from the same place. But I, I wonder, does Middleton look at that and sometimes think maybe we have to have some variants of it? But then we've got the Silent Distillery, we've got the single cast projects. You know, we've got the the Middleton very exactly. rare every year. So I wonder. Um, these are the sort of uh, travel retail exclusives that were available the era and the uh, fine cacao and there's the few other ones I can't think of their name of them. I, I've run out of uh, 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 storage capacity I need to be formatted yes um, <laughs> and the Macallan rare cast that's the 2021 release we've had a few of them over the years they've done uh, quite well actually they do really really good uh, and then the home collection last month great price for that i think that's why i think we might have two or three of those in this possibly month. yeah uh, again following on from that so look that's some of the mccallan one of the other things Sinead, you brought to my attention is this i'll bring it up uh, so this is a limited edition print of the easter lg so easter lg is the original building uh is sort of would be our home uh up in uh scotland uh, and this is a limited edition print. There's only 400 of them. It's done by Natalia Sanabria. Probably, I, I'm supposed to know who she is. Costa Rican illustrator. There she is. Um, the uh, McCallum's spiritual home. So that's the, the original house. Uh, and they're a limited edition. And that comes in a gorgeous presentation box. It's really well protected. Uh, but as I said, there's only 400 of them. So. No doubt McCallan's. I mean, you imagine that framed with a nice light on it. It would just glow. So it, it, is a room. it is a beautiful piece of art. So that's part of uh, the entire McCallan catalogue that is in for this month. There's a lot more scotch again. We've been doing really, really well with the scotch prices for the last uh, couple of months. Uh, and uh, it's, as I say, chicken and egg. When we're getting the good prices, the bottles follow. And then you get more uh, fans. We're getting a lot more European, a lot more UK based fans as well. And a, uh, and, uh, and a lot of Irish are. Uh, <laughs> well, they're looking for alternatives. And they're trying out the scotch. Yeah, yeah. And they're finding drinking, that they like it. Yeah, yeah, drinking wise. Um, yeah. But also, uh, from a collectability point of view, they're looking for alternatives to the Middleton. They're maybe sort of maybe going, you know, is there something else out there? What's going to be the next one? And, you know, as I say, McAllen's been doing really, really yeah. well in the UK as so they've been holding their own. Um, that's it. Mm -hmm. We are at uh, Monday. We are here all week. Yeah. Strangely enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we will be talking about some of the various different bottlings. There's loads of really interesting stuff this month. As I say, we do have the two charity bottles. Mm -hmm. We've bottle number one of this year's the 27 year old dream cask. And we've got bottle number one of the Dunville's Irish whiskey of the year. I reckon that's going to be great interest. I wouldn't mind owning that one myself uh, because I, I am a bit of a, a, a Dunville's fan. I yes, you are. Uh, it's up there with Teal. I wonder who's... Who's winning the fight. Yeah, who's winning the fight. Yeah, yeah. I Dunville's think... giving me lots of t-shirts, you see. <coughs> that Actually, is... speaking of t-shirts, speaking of t-shirts, look at this. Laurie the lad. 
Lowry and Sonia, who had a very successful uh, uh, Cork, Cork Whiskey Festival. Festival. Um, obviously, they're all skinny minxes down in Cork because they had to get a custom-built T-shirt to go around Anto. <laughs> uh, so they did send up a T-shirt for me and you. Yep. Uh, thank you, Lowry. Uh, we're, we're glad to be a proud supporter of whiskey uh, the Whiskey Chats and what they do. Uh, very successful Whiskey Festival. I know he's got a plan for next year again. I know uh, uh, some of the great things that he's planning for that. He's, he's not lying down with this. He's really running with that. And I'm delighted to be able to support him and to be able to, that he sent me up a T-shirt. One of the few people, I mean, again, you know, brands don't send me T-shirts. Yeah, and yeah. I've got another one. Uh, Thomas Connolly sent me one as well. I'm going to be wearing that tomorrow yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. Yes. So that's tomorrow's T-shirt. Anybody wants to have the Wednesday T-shirt, you can send it in. Uh, A91 W9 T4, care of Jumbo Anto. Uh, and and uh, <laughs> we, we, you can get the T-shirts, all right? Two XLs, none of this skinny shit. Okay, uh, guys. Until tomorrow, good Bye. luck. Bye.